Assistant Chief Chuck Ford. This is Zone 6 patrol area. Earlier today at 11.30 a.m., uh, police responded to 590 Duval Station Road, which is First Coast High School, in reference to a threat at the school. It was a 911 call made through our 911 call system, and uh, basically a summary of the call indicated that an individual was going to shoot up First Coast High School. Jacksonville Sheriff's Office responded to the school and a lockdown was initiated that allowed G JSO officers to lock the school down for safety reasons. Uh, the Duval County School Board was also notified at 11.32 a.m. of the incident. When the lockdown was initiated, uh, a mutual aid lockdown was also initiated at 11.39, which mutual aid lockdown would notify other agencies that the school was going to be locked down. Post the lockdown of the school, uh, a safety search for the school was initiated using assets from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office and the FHP to ensure the area was in fact safe. After an extensive search of the school, and both interior and exterior of the school and areas surrounding the school, using our drone unit, using our patrol officers, canine, and any other the resources that we have available to us, no threat was located at the school. The investigation of this threat is continuing. It will continue on. Uh, throughout the night and throughout the following days. Uh, the information is limited on the threat at this time, but again, our, our resources as well as our investigative resources will follow that up. If anybody has any information regarding this threat, they can always call the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office and as always call uh, Jacksonville Crime Stoppers. Anybody have any questions? We were outside the school hearing, you know, some parent chatter. Just want to know if there's any truth to any of it. Some parents saying that there was a fight that broke out, a physical fight inside the school earlier. We did not get any of that information um, at the at the time of our uh, of the lockdown. Um, our primary responsibility upon responding there was to lock down the school and to initiate a search for any individuals that may be a threat to the school. Um, again, part of our investigation as we go forward will be to investigate that, and the school board will be uh, investigating that as well. Um, if any of those issues come up, then uh, that will be part of the investigation. What, what about the 911 call? Is it being traced? The 911 call uh, is being traced. Uh, that information will be, again, part of the investigative pro process. As I said before, the most important part of this was to lock down the school for the safety of the kids. The investigative part will come in the near future. Um, when you say the summary of the call indicated that someone would shoot up First Coast, um, was that person on the phone saying that they would shoot up First Coast High School? The 911 call that was received said that they were going to shoot up First Coast High School. That is why we came to First Coast High School. Okay. And also, um, what do you urge parents and students, um, you know, as this comes about, do you, do you, is there anything that you can tell parents and students about how serious of a nature this could be, um, you know, as far as crime related? Like, this could be, what, a felony offense? Well, it, I believe it is a felony. Uh, I would have to go back and look at the statute. But um, it is a very serious offense. The amount of resources that we just used to search the school is, uh, is, is, is a lot that we had to take off the street to follow up this threat, um, number one. Number two is the seriousness, again, of what's going on um, at the school. I would also say that um, it's dangerous in the event that we have all these officers that are running around. We don't know what the kids are doing, uh, locking down the school. We want everyone to be safe. Um, again, we have parents that are probably hysterical when they hear of a lockdown that goes on at the school. Um, what we want to do is we want everyone to be safe. Uh, what I would say to both parents and students is um, if they have an issue at school or they have something like that, go to an adult, go to a, a counselor, go talk to somebody, call the police department. Not with a hysterical threat, but call the police department with, with uh, a, need, you know, a, a call for help. Um, so to speak. Additionally, I would say be smart. If you have an educator or somebody's telling you that school's being locked down, do what they tell you to do. Do what these parents tell you to do, do what the police tell you to do, and parents, be sensible. Don't try to rush to school. Go to the reunification areas that we tell you to go to and do what we ask you to do, and we're going to do what is paramount is the safety of your, of your kids. My last question to you, with things going on like what happened over in Michigan State, you know, how serious are you all taking well, I'm not sure if you were out over at the school, but I would say there were 40 to 50 police officers that were standing at that school that were there to protect the kids inside that school. 
So I would say that's pretty serious. From 11.30 a.m. to here we are at 3 o'clock, we put those assets to work. We put all the resources that we can, not just our assets. Jacksonville Fire Department was here to help us. The Jack, uh, Florida Highway Patrol was here to help us. And again, it's for the protection of the students in these schools. So we train constantly to ensure that safety. And that's what we're here for. Thank you, sir. Hey, any idea? Can you tell us about the, the caller? Was there a young person? Or? I don't have any of that information. I haven't listened to it. So it'll be something that will come out of the investigation. And what's the status right now of the lockdown? Has it been lifted? still out as usual? As, as I know, it's been locked down. It has been lifted. Safe zone.